This is one of my favorites, this video. I found this yesterday and it's a woman. It says Coco Butte. Yep. Not sure. And she is opining on what date options are appropriate for what she prefers, what she doesn't prefer. And I love this because I disagree with most of it. So I need to put her in check a little bit. Respect though for putting your opinion out there. I love opinionated women. So let's go. Let's see what she says. I'm going to try to let her go through the whole thing. No promises made. I'm going to try and then react. Let's go. I do not accept a coffee or a walk as a possible date option and neither should you. First of all, I'm not a dog that needs to be walked. Second, I have an espresso machine at home. Works fabulous. Mm -hmm. We're not doing drinks either. You're gonna try to get me drunk and take me back home. No, we are doing dinner. You're gonna pick me up. We're gonna come to the restaurant. We're gonna see your table manners. We're gonna see what you order. We're gonna see, do you hold your chopsticks correctly? We're just gonna, you know, study you a bit. Okay. Okay, so dinner it is. So she wants to go to dinner and that opening on it was a little bit low. We hadn't had the sound on yet. I don't know if you heard what she said, but it was basically like, she doesn't want to be taken. Walks are a no-go. Coffee shops are no, okay. So that, I need like a bzzz, wrong. I need one of those buttons. I have a bullshit button, but okay. Walks are the best date. First of all, let me tell you that when I met my husband, our first four dates were long walks. Do you know why walks are good? And I mean long. We, I remember once we walked across the, from Manhattan, walked through Manhattan, walked across the Brooklyn Bridge, over to Brooklyn, walked back, and then walked all the way up to Midtown. Another time we walked through the High Line, another time we walked through the Upper East Side. It was just walks. Occasionally we'd stop for a snack. You know me, I get feisty, I get hungry. A hungry Bila is not a happy Bila, so Hang we could stop. You get hangry? I get hangry. <laughs> I've been hangry here before, Tyler knows. When I talk about Pelosi, I'm usually hangry. It's not good. It's not a good combination. But we did a lot of walking dates. And the reason walks are great is because there's not a lot else going on. If you can go on a date with a guy, and let me tell you, that's how I knew that I had met my man. Even though I resisted at first. I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know. He was ready. I was like, I don't know. The reason I knew that he was the guy was because we could do nothing but walk and talk. And it was amazing. It left me hungry for more. That's all we were doing is talking. That's how you figure, there's no distractions. Who gives a shit how he holds his chopsticks? You're not gonna care about that after three minutes. You're gonna be like, oh, he holds his chopsticks well, great. And next, you're not gonna care about that stuff. Who cares what he orders? That matters? That matters to you ultimately in the game of life. Are you gonna care about what he ate or what, he, what his food tastes are? No, you're not, you're not. I understand what you're saying. Maybe he's, you know, ate a salad and that's not going to work for you because some, I understand where you're going with this, but ultimately what you really want to get to the meat of the problem, which is, can I talk to this guy? Do we have charisma? Do we have chemistry? You go for a walk and there's nothing. Yeah, there's some people, there's some this, but there's nothing like really distracting in your inner circle and you put all the phones away, you put all the technology away and you just let it go. That's how you're going to know. So I love walks. I also don't mind a coffee shop. I don't drink coffee, so that might not be the best option for me. But think less is more, right? I'm on board with her with the drinks. Drinks are, you're not in your right head when you're drinking. And if you need to have a drink in order to take a girl out on a date because you're nervous, you got to get over that. you got to be a man. you got to be a man. No boys at the table. you got to be a man. So I don't like the drinks. And I think women sometimes do feel like, oh, oh he's going to try to get me drunk. There's an easy solution to that, ladies. Just say, I don't drink. <laughs> I don't drink. Or say, I'm not up for drinks tonight. I want to do X, Y, and Z. They're going to take you for what you want to do. You're going to decide the date. She knows that. She definitely knows that. So I think like you got to just look at the situation and, and you have to decide too. Are you going, on, there's two different types of things. You go on a date sometimes just to have fun or you're really looking for, is this, you know, is this someone I'm going to want to make something happen with? But a walk, I can tell you, that is how I knew that I had met my man. So don't diss on the walk. Try it. Say, let's go for a walk. Buy her something on the walk, too. Stop in. Say, hey, you want to get a snack? You want to get some ice cream? You want to get, what do you feel like having? You can stop and eat. You can walk for an hour, and then you can stop and get the bite to eat. You know? And also, let me say this. I know the pattern is that when you start dating someone, you're all done up. Literally, you're, you, it's like you've got all but hair and makeup at your house before you go on that date. Ladies in particular, I'm talking to you. My first few dates with Jeremy, I would look like this. I walked around one date, I was in my workout clothes. 
One date I was in a sundress with no makeup on and my hair looking like who did it and ran. You know that expression, who did it and ran? Do you ever hear that expression? My mom uses that all the time. She's like, you look like who did it and ran. I'm not really sure what that means, mom, but it's not good. Okay, my hair was, okay. I looked like me on not my best, best day, but I was smiling and I was happy and I love that that's who he fell in love with, right? Because then, yeah, when I dolled it up, that was like exciting and cool, but they need to like, you need to be the person that you want to be most of the time. That's who he's got to love. Same goes the other way around too. Guys, don't like put on a suit and go on a date if you hate suits and now you're the guy with the suit. So you feel like you always got to be the guy with the suit. No, go somewhere and be yourself. If you're the ripped jeans and t-shirt guy, be that guy. If she doesn't like that guy, she doesn't like you. You're not for her. Let's get that out of the way on date one, okay? If she wants to go to a fancy restaurant every time and you're not a fancy restaurant kind of guy, that could be a problem. If you invite her to go for a walk and that's not good enough for her because she needs a more expensive dinner and she wants you dressed nicer and that's not who you are or how you spend your days, that's not gonna work. So from the beginning, just be yourself. If it meshes, it meshes. If it doesn't, wow, amazing, you know on day one. Don't force it. Don't be like, oh, but she's so cute. Don't do that. She's still gonna be cute on date 10, only you're not gonna be smiling. <laughs> if you like the short clip, you can catch another one here or you can catch the full episode right here.